hello. Please excuse the very dramatic lighting. It's six o'clock, so of course it is pitch black out. Uh, I have two lights on me right now. I'm kind of underlit. Okay, so this week we're embarking on a very large project that requires very large paper. We're not drawing, we're not making art. I've already made the art. Oh, this was one of my projects that I did in grad school and never got to display and show in a gallery setting. So it's time to bite the bullet now after months later and hang it up in my house and install it permanently. Very exciting. So here, here's the plan. See this blank void here? Kind of some space at the top. My shadow's really helping with this. I'm actually enjoying the dramatic lighting. But that, this, this is where we are going to be putting the art. It's not canvas art, it's 3D sculpture. So of course it is going to be a whole thing to do this. So I thought I might as well document it. So the first step, now that I have blank paper, what I'm gonna do is, and I advise this honestly, if you're doing like a gallery wall or anything, this is the way to do it. You take the paper, you put it up on the area where you're putting it. For me, it's kind of a T shape, and I'm going to be using that longer part. Map out the space with the paper, and then we'll use that paper for the next step. But we're just doing step one. We're just doing this today. I knew I had to break this up and do a bunch of little modules, do one little bit at a time or else my brain would melt. I'm gonna switch to time lapse. As I do that, it's gonna be a lot. Okay. Well, I think that's surprisingly centered. So now I'm gonna try to delicately take this down and tomorrow we will start to lay out the sculpture on this to see if it'll all fit. But I think, I think I'm good. I think I, I was wrong. When you're doing a gallery wall, well, you could do this if you really would have a weird shaped wall, but you're better off cutting out pieces of paper the size of the frames and just placing them on the wall. Like, hmm, do I like it there? Or do I like it here? Do I like it there? Or do I like it here? And you mark where you would drill the nails right on the paper. So drill the nails, hammer the nails, drill, screws, however you want to hang it. It's really easy to do it that way. Cool. Okay. Day one is done. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll continue doing this project. Day two. Okay. So I apologize for the poor lighting, but there's no plug close enough to where this is to put a light. I'll be, I'm going to be on the floor anyway. There's my sculpture all over the floor. Uh, I'm going to tilt you more when, as I move down. Here's the paper that we made. Um, there's some sculptures that haven't seen the kiln yet that need to. So today we're gonna work on layout and that's all I have for you. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to time lapse because this is gonna take all my brain power to accomplish, but it's gonna be similar, I think, to like watching like a chimpanzee or a crow first figure out how to use a stick as a tool. Same, same vibe, same mood. Okay, talk about weird angles. This is as far as I think I can get without looking up my own sketches to remember what letters go with what. Because I just, I couldn't, I remembered a decent amount of them, but there's a lot going on here, as in lots of languages. I'm pretty happy with this one down. I think they fit together well. I, this is as far as my brain could go today. Day three. On the third day of working on this project, I had a massive headache, so I didn't feel like speaking words. But I did realize that I couldn't really have the words lower than where my head would rest against the wall behind the couch, and I had to do everything from there up only. The best solution to any headache is to grab your hammer and a box full of nails and get to banging on the wall. Let's do this. Many months later. Okay, 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 okay. So I know it's been a few months. Um, we're back to working on this. I found all of my research, so I was able to put together the rest of the words. Turns out I can't remember one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different languages in cursive that they don't even use anymore. My brain doesn't have that capacity. I knew them once I saw them. I was like, oh yeah, Bedefina and Suderland. I know these. Not off the top of my head. I needed I needed to pull it from the back files, you know. But yeah, uh, I wanted to show you my progress. My goal is to finish it this weekend. As you can tell, there's nothing has started yet, but we're we're getting there. I will show you what I've been working on because it was tedious. Hey there. Okay, so this is my longest word. It actually ends all the way here at my fingertips and to my toes. It's eight feet long. This word is eight feet long. I measured it and I checked the math twice or three times because I just couldn't believe that it was eight feet long. But this is the first word we're gonna be hanging up today because obviously it's gonna be the most tedious. The rest are like, three feet long. She's a big one. She's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of brain power. So we're going to get her out of the way first. Here, let me show you. Oh, oh. Let me get up. I'm coming. So here is the plan for that word. I'm going to start it over here and take it across the top to there. I should be able to fit in two more words from here, like if there's a little rectangle here, I should be able to fit in two more words. But that leaves five more words. So what am I going to do with these five extra words? Let me, let me move you. See that wall by the window there? We're going to put them starting kind of close to the window sill this way down the wall. But um, the nice part is you can see the edge of that wall when you come into the living room from over the side. So you would see all the words there with the words that will be on this wall. <sighs> so yeah, on that note, I'm gonna start from the end of the long word to the beginning, but I'm gonna switch to a time lapse for this and listen to a podcast while I do so, because this is probably gonna take a solid hour or two. I might, uh, we'll find out how many podcasts I get through. Right now, comment down below what your prediction is. It's gonna take one podcast or two podcasts. Keep in mind, eight feet long. I don't know what math you need to do for that. Let's get to it, my dudes. And we're back. As you can see, I don't have all the letter sections up because when I'm hammering, they kind of shake. I learned early on and I don't want them to break. That would be really bad. So. I take them down and do section by section. I line them up and then I take that section down and hammer the next one up. It's the safest way. Oh, the water just stopped. <laughs> Yay, audio's not gonna match. <laughs> what was your guess? How long did you think it took me? Cause I'm shocked as well as how long it took. It only took me half a podcast. It's only been a half hour and I got that eight foot word up. My next task is to figure out the words that I'll be putting from here to about here. I'll probably just switch to another time lapse for that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I might actually finish this wall today and then we'll do the other wall tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hello, it is the next day, and yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit. Here are the rest of the words that we have to um, hang over by the window. I place them in the order that I will be displaying them. I was too tired to show you yesterday, and now we're gonna we're gonna go over to the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom had a smart idea to put cushions on the floor in case in the process of putting these on the wall, they fall. <laughs> it really fun to but okay, so here you can see this is the windowsill. I had to kind of cut out the window completely because one, you need to see the wall. We're not putting these on the window. And two, the window, that lighting was like, oh. I want to start the words close to this edge so that they're visible from the other room. So this whole space from my fingertips to elbow can be seen from the living room, like as soon as you walk in. So you'd still be able to see all the words at once. That's the goal. You wanna, you wanna see hello? <laughs> Here he is, say hi. 
They're gonna be Fendi. If you want more dog content, I put them on my TikToks pretty often. Now you have to leave me alone so I can work. I know you just want to be held like a baby all day. Okay, bye. Go lay in the sun. Take a sun nap. Go take a sun nap. Go take a sun nap. He's not listening. Anywho, so I don't want them too close to the windowsill, so I'll probably take them like two inches and, and that will be where the words go. And this is gonna be the same thing as yesterday, another time lapse. Oh, hello again. Uh, I'm not even kidding. My time, I was just about to end the time lapse and my timer went off to basically remind me to eat. <laughs> but we put all the nails, all the holes in this wall. This wall is done now. I left some of them up because I, I can't get them down. Some of them are real secure and this is their permanent home now. But yeah, see, you kind of get an idea of what it's gonna be like now, which is kind of cool. Um, things to say. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna eat now. I have to be honest, it's pretty exhausting doing this, not in the physical sense, but more in the mental sense, because you're making, every nail is a decision. You're making all these little micro decisions which tire out your brain, and sometimes it like will slip and then my heart rate will go like, <laughs> like, you know, it freaks me out. And they're my babies. I spend a lot of time on them and I don't want to break them. <laughs> it's like more mentally, emotionally exhausting. But this is what I wanted to get done today, was to get this wall done. So tomorrow we can spend the time, you know, finalizing, hanging them up, making sure they're really secure. Yeah, that concludes today's work. I cannot promise you I will not, will not be. Basically, I'm trying to say is I probably will be wearing the same exact outfit tomorrow. Who knows? It'll be a surprise. <laughs> I feel like jello. But yeah, words. I need to sit down and take a mental break. Hello, it is the next day. I have a different shirt on and we're trading our hammer and nails for scissors and fishing line. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting up all the words today, uh, hanging them and then using the fishing line to hook on each of the nails to secure them down. Um, but yeah, that's the time lapse we're doing now. It will be finalizing all of this. Ta-da, ta-da again. So all of these words are secure. I don't know if you can even see them. Probably not because it's fishing line and it's clear and this is a camera. These are all secure now and this wall is done. So I need to eat now. <laughs> and work on the other wall after that during the sunset. Tomorrow. And we're done. Last night, I didn't completely finish. I didn't have this word up yet. I couldn't remember how it hung on the nails that I already had on the wall because I did that two months ago. I ended up adding two, three more nails and then wiring it down. But last night, my brain was just too wiped out, exhausted from doing all the other words, so. I'm glad that I waited till today. Here is the grand reveal. I took some very aesthetic shots of the words. The lighting is pretty nice right now. I'll stop talking so you can just enjoy them.
Well, yeah, that's it. I finally installed all the rest of my graduate artwork that I made. Uh, this stuff definitely took a lot of time and patience and anxiety and sweat went into them to make them and to hang them. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. I think I'm, I'm very happy that it's finally done and that I don't have to hammer in any more of my porcelain sculptures to a wall. Way less stressful now that they're up there and they're secure. Now I can just enjoy them. I mean, look at them. Aren't they, aren't they nice? That concludes this week's video. Subscribe if you want to see me do some more things. Uh, like this video if you liked my art. And yeah, that's the video. I'm done now. I'm finally done. This took months, but it's finally done. That seems to be a recurring theme with some of my videos on this channel. Some of them just happen to take months to make. Actually, this took years. This took years. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Um, bye. We'll end with some uh, porcelain sculpture ASMR.